Bush and Khan, thank you so much. It's our third show and last show of our mini tour. So thank you, Auckland. It's fun to be here. Cool. Everyone's been so amazing, by the way. So fucking cool. Okay. Um, well, pretty much my partner, I met him last year and I visited for a few months and then um, I just decided, I mean we were trying to figure out like should he move to the States or should I move here and after many different plans that we had sorted um, basically we just decided that we'll stay in his hometown of Invercargill for a little bit and see what happens and yeah since February I've been here and it's been really really awesome. It's usually when I'm like home alone and it's raining and cold and dark and you can't go outside and all you can really do is to stay inside and listen to records or something and yeah and just, I don't know it just kind of comes and goes and usually I'm like in my pajamas or something like all comfy and just feeling comfortable enough to <laughs> like work it out and yeah I just feel like I can like there's nothing else influencing me unintentionally if that makes sense so I just can be in my own little space and and then come out with whatever and then hopefully the rest of New Zealand or wherever it likes it so I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect and it was just such a cool atmosphere and we played with carols and they just blew my mind like me and my partner and like the rest of the band we were just freaking out about how cool they were that we got to play with them. Um, and it was, it was just great. We had a really stressful day, so just going there was really, really nice. And um, I think, I don't know exactly who this is, but my friend was like telling me that this is the guy I was talking to, but um, I guess Mike Peru from The Edge? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he comes up to me and I just thought it was like a really drunk guy and I felt really bad. And he was just like, hold it on to me. Like, you know, that was the most kick-ass band I've seen in like five years and I was like, Thanks, dude. I don't know who you are, but like, <laughs> so um, yeah, that was cool. Um, and then yeah, my friend was like, "Oh, do you know who that was?" And I was like, "No." So I felt really bad. But I'm trying to learn all like my New Zealand people. Yeah. <laughs> I was um, with uh, Joseph and Shannon, um, the guitarist and the drummer, and uh, jo um, Shannon had stayed over and they were just playing like Dark Souls, like video games and stuff. And I was like, oh, do you know what enemy is? And they're like, yeah, why? And I was like, I don't really know what enemy is, but apparently I'm in it soon. And um, they're like, oh, really? And like, it was just so odd because everything had been happening so quickly and everything had been happening on the internet and not in like the real world. So to me, it just wasn't, it wasn't hitting me. And up until now, it's sort of, catching on but yeah <laughs> hopefully like a couple shows like where we can get to easily like Dunedin and stuff but um, honestly recording and recording in Dunedin it's gonna be kind of strange because like I've never recorded like with people that I haven't known for years if anything um, or, or usually I'm just by myself and that's where it's most comfortable but I think with what they've got and everything it'll sound so much better and proper um, so. Yeah, I think it'll sound really, really good just with what they've got and what they've done already. Um, it's with Steven from Dobra, so he, yeah. <laughs> so um, it's it's gonna be fun, and he's really good at what he does, so I'm really excited. Um, yeah.